Hey guys, we are now in the uh, little side road and area that I was talking about, so we can kind of get some some driving. Uh, this is 80 degrees Fahrenheit ambient right now. I have my GoPro and then camera set up right here, so you guys can see. I'm gonna be doing some testing here. Uh, we're also going uphill as well. So we'll go ahead and get right on it so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see the boost gauge really working down there. If not, I can uh, get up the exposure. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do this a little spirited drive. There's another area that I think we can uh, go off on, and uh, this is like a back roads area. You can see how quiet it is. We have our nice shrub bar and our Motegi wheels, lightweight wheels. Handling's pretty good. I think this is another area we can go off into over here. I think this is the actual. Oh no, this is dead end. No, I don't know then. I don't know where the where the area is. There's another area that I went to, but I can't remember which one it is. But yeah, you guys can see there's a beautiful view out here. You know, it looks like some guys have done uh, burnouts and things over here, which I'm not doing, it, but you guys can see the view. It's quite nice. Of course, we have the Plasti Dip. As you know, there are some areas on here rough areas where of course doing the Plasti Dip for my first time that are to be expected but from afar it really I think ties it all together still and it looks very good. Up close of course you will notice the imperfections but still I really appreciate this color and look forward to using Plasti Dip again if at all possible. Of course we have the chrome side molding so fits with the existing handles and side trim along the window here. So we have it to our door pillars and of course the side here and as you know the wheels. So overall very nice. See ever since I've done this color I've gotten people who notice it all the time and compliments on it. Of course we have the aftermarket tail lights here sequential and all LED and smoked and chrome so very nice same spoiler same for the roof spoiler now I know there's some thoughts about those because the airflow is not gonna run under but eh, I think it's sloped enough to where there'll be some effect but if not you know I might be changing my spoiler at some point when I repaint the car. Specti tuning headlamps, standard LED. Just uses a mirror mechanism for the projector to switch between high and low. And then we have one long strip of DRL. So very nice. Just taking in the scenery here. Quite a long way down, as you can see. Don't want to mess around with the roads here. There's the top of the road and get a perspective. It's a beautiful day. Again, with the engine, we have 
the OEM wire harness was cut and we have the little spade connectors going into these injectors here. The injectors are, you can kind of see them there, these are Bosch 30 pound injectors. That's what we use for fuel for the torque amp to supplement with the uh, methanol injection there, which of course we're going to be going back to boost juice. Uh, methanol and water mix, pre-mixed from snow, instead of using the IPA. Got another car come in here. Of course, one of the focuses being the having the torque amp set up itself is a focus for sure. We have a 90 degree tube running here, and then of course our blowout valves still have to fix the spring. Vacuum tubing here, and of course our Inazima Sun Auto. Very cool. And then the strut bar. As you can see right into here now because there is no more OEM lip, which would be, or sorry, top grill would be here, to cover this whole thing. So I'm going to straighten it here, get a lot of space grounding to the frame. TRQ ignition coils, and we're running NGK ruthenium. Um, Square dual, square projected platinum electrode or DSP, something like that. Again, everything's going to be linked and I'll have images showing. One step colder, of course. We were running brisks and may go back to them, but I'm experimenting with these right now. You can see this is our coolant temp right now after coming uphill and driving. Spider on my on my arm. Can't really hand can't really see him, but he's there. Gotta make sure he goes in the wind. There we go.